Thank you for joining our channel today. And now we want to talk about container farming. I got motivated to join container farming when I chanced on a friend who was already in container farming. And I must say that it has been a very successful story. In container farming, you do need a very big space to farm. A small amount of space is more than enough for you to do your container farm. We use different types of containers for our farming. We have buckets, we have sacks, we have pots, we have trays, and we have anything that can hold soil. We use black soil, we use compost, we use cow dung, we use chicken dropping in our container farming as a means of manuring the soil. We want to do purely organic farming, so we don't use any artificial material in doing our farming. We grow vegetables like pepper, tomato, garden eggs, aubergine, cucumber, and we also grow some spices like mint, basil, turmeric. We also have some tiger nuts, we have beans in our container farm. One of the benefits for container farm is we are always able to get fresh vegetable, like fresh lettuce, fresh pepper, for our home consumption. The maturity period for our container farming is exactly the same as what we do on the normal food. So for instance, we have some okra which is 42 days into maturity. We have tomato which takes about 61 days to maturity. So the maturity period for the vegetables in the container farming doesn't differ from those who are doing the normal open field farming. Well, I can say container farming is more advantageous than open field farming because in container farming, we can easily relocate our plants in a point where we don't like the position. Assuming that we have a plant which doesn't need enough sunlight, we're able to relocate the plant to a, a shady area or if we realize that a container is too small for the plant, we can move it into a bigger container. So I would say that the container farming is very advantageous. We expect to have a lot of yield in our container farming because if we are applying the right proportion of manure and compost to our plant, we get the same amount of yield that is expected of us to get in our farming. 